Hey everybody, just want to give you a quick video. I bought this two inch monster stir bar. That's the one that comes with the stir, the little blue guy that I use. And I bought this monster one, the two inch one. And I'm discovering it's got some limitations. So watch what happens when you take this giant monster bar and you turn the dial. And so it looks like I normally run the dial like right now I'm, I'm stirring some MCT at about 11 o'clock and you can actually turn it to about 2 p.m. you know to 2 o'clock and it'll still stir but because it's MCT you know it's just it's just it's like water but over here I've got MCT and coconut and watch what happens I mean look look I got it up to 10 and it's got nothing happening and then all of a sudden it kicks in at 11 I've done this several times now and then this monster bar boom as soon as you hit 12 o'clock it just falls and it just does that and so then the only thing that's really interesting about this giant bar is that it only works at a somewhat like medium speed so ah oh, shoots it's just driving me crazy uh, I'm trying to get the right speed I don't want to go too high but I want to get as fast as I can get on this thing but that's about it for that monster bar and then you can see right here this is about, I'd say this is like 80% caprylic and about 20% uh, regular coconut. And so, oh shoot, you see that? It just flipped over again. So you have to turn it all the way back down and all the way back up. And I'll tell you, this, I thought it'd be a lot easier to work with this bar than this. You know, that means I'm going to have to keep an eye on it and I'm going to have to babysit it. But the good news is, is it, does, it does create a little bit of a vortex. Not as good as the, the one inch bar, which is what I thought would happen. So... Hey, you know, what this means is bigger is not always better.